guys, I'm Claire, the Fiddly Fit Girl, and today I want to talk about how to make your space feel aesthetically pleasing, cozy, and comfortable using plants, particularly using fiddly figs. Now, what's really interesting about design is that plants really create this impeccable design quality of making a room feel natural and restful and beautiful and aesthetically pleasing like no other design element can. They really are miraculous and special in this way. Let's talk about why rooms feel better with plants in them. So I really think the first thing is probably air quality. So if you know anything about fiddly figs, you know that they are really, really good at cleaning the air of any toxins that are present. And NASA has done a lot of studies on using houseplants to clean the air. And it's interesting because plants are actually better than any man-made air filtration system at taking out toxins and releasing pure oxygen into the air. And who doesn't like a room filled with fresh air? Actually, NASA research shows that a fiddly fig can remove 87% of toxins in a room within 24 hours. And so if you have a fiddly fig in your room, your air quality is probably really, really good and you're probably enjoying that fresh air. Another really cool aspect of having plants in your room, particularly fiddly figs, is they actually reduce air pollution. So another really cool benefit of plants in our homes is they actually absorb a lot of noise and they can lower the background noise. Say you have a noisy street or noisy neighbors, you can actually add plants to your room to reduce the background noise, which makes your home feel cozier and quieter. Another interesting thing is that plants actually affect our health. So they can lower our stress levels, they can lower our blood pressure, and they can lower our risk of chronic diseases. Nobody knows exactly how this happens, but there are multiple studies confirming that plants cause us to be less stressed and healthier in the long run. There's also some research that shows having plants in your room can help you sleep deeper, so who doesn't like to be more well rested? And then I think the other thing about having plants in our home is that taking care of them is therapeutic for the plant and for you, and it can be a really relaxing hobby. And I think our homes feel better if we're surrounded by the things that we love and the hobbies that we enjoy. So let's talk about another topic, which is why do rooms look better with plants them. So adding plants to your room can actually help your room feel larger depending on the plant that you add. So if you have a long trailing plant, it can make the room look taller. If you have something big like a fiddly fig that's very tall, it can make your room feel taller and make the ceiling seem higher. And just adding that greenery into your room can cause the room to feel larger. Another thing is texture. So it's really hard sometimes within our designs to get more texture. But because plants are large three-dimensional objects, they add this three-dimensional texture and impact that it's really hard to get with any other objects. Think of you know designing an object as large as a fiddly fig tree and bringing that into your home. It would be massive and it may feel even overwhelming or daunting whereas a plant looks very natural and it gives you a large impact and some texture and some you know three-dimensional impact without feeling overwhelming or massive. And then of course, plants add color. And so, you know, even just a green plant can add a nice pop of greenery, but there's also kind of silvery blue plants that you can add that can give a calming color. And then there's a lot of bright colored house plants. So things like crotons and even a variegated monstera that has some pink in it can give you a nice pop of pink. And so you can bring a lot of color into your home using house plants. And then I think the number one thing about why rooms look better with plants is that it reminds us of nature and I think you know most people agree that there's nothing more beautiful than nature and so bringing nature into our homes makes them more beautiful. So let's talk about how to use plants in your home. So there's basically three steps that I like to use when designing any room with house plants to keep it really really basic. So the first thing is to have one very big statement plant or a floor plant. The second thing is to have one tabletop plant. And the third is to have one hanging plant. So if you have one statement, one tabletop, and one hanging plant, you kind of cover all of the bases and you give this varied dimension in your room. And so of course for the statement plant, I love a fiddly fig, maybe in a basket or a really impactful pot. And so put that kind of in the space that you need a big, impressive you know, statement piece. With your tabletop plant, you probably have a few more options. You know, you could put it on a dresser, you could put it on a shelf, you could put it on a desk, even on a counter. So there's a lot of places where you could put a tabletop plant, depending on the size of the plant, and it can really go a lot of different ways. You know, bookshelves that are empty or that feel like they need styling are the perfect place to put sort of a medium-sized tabletop plant. 
I think entry tables are a perfect place to put a tabletop plant. Every entry table needs some greenery. And also, if you have a toilet that's an empty toilet in your house, put a plant on top of that and it makes your, you know, kind of aesthetically not pleasing toilet even look better. And then for your hanging plant, you can either do this on a bookshelf where it's hanging down or you could actually hang it from the ceiling. And in almost all of the bedrooms in my home, I have a hanging plant that's hanging from the ceiling. Pothos are great for this, philodendron, monstera, whatever you like, you know, even succulents, hanging succulents can be really calming in a home. Now, when you're using this sort of rule of threes to design your room, I would recommend thinking about whether you're trying to add interest and color to your room or if you're trying to sort of minimize the colors and the textures of your room and calm things down. If you're trying to calm things down, I would pick plants that are in the same color palette. So maybe you do a fiddly fig and then two other plants that are the same kind of, you know, common shade of green. Or if you're trying to really create kind of a cool natural shade, you could do something like a eucalyptus and then you could do a hanging succulent and you could kind of go with those silvery blue colors. But if you're trying to kind of pop up the interest and the color, I would go with actually three different colors of plants. So maybe you do a fiddly fig and then you do a croton and then you do something like a variegated, you know, hanging pothos or something. So it just depends on whether you're trying to add visual interest or sort of calm down the room and keep it sort of streamlined. So I think if you add three plants to every room in your house, you're gonna have a transformed home. I think everything is gonna feel more natural, the air is gonna feel fresher, everything is gonna look more beautiful and be more calming. So I really recommend trying this three-step process. Let me know how it goes. Let me know your favorite design tips for designing with plants. And I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.